Good morning everyone, it's a beautiful day today here at Woka and I thought let's cook something special this morning and by the way this beautiful view right here is right from my balcony since the view was looking fresh I thought I'll show you a bit of it before I start my day my early morning always starts with the brushing of my feet and if sometimes my hair is oily then I do wash my hair as well it has been incessantly raining for the past few weeks but since today seems exceptional I thought let's go and harvest some organic veggies from our garden and cook you all some healthy foods there are also times when I eat from outside but I usually prefer home cooked food a lot so I end up cooking whatever that is available in our garden and mostly it is organic so I hope you enjoyed this video and also cleansing is very very essential for me early in the morning because in the evening I also do some oiling as well and as usual for my skincare I'm using the Cure Skin product that was curated for my skin I never forget to apply my moisturizer or my sunscreen especially even when I'm outside or even when I'm cooking as we know that cooking gas releases heat and light and according to dermatologists this could be as harmful to our skin as sun rays and some people more than others spend most of the time cooking including me and we should wear sunscreen that is not less than SPF 30 I always make sure to wear my sunscreen and my moisturizer from Cure Skin. For those of you who are new to my channel, you can also check out Cure Skin. It is an AI technology base and it detects the area that needs treatment. After taking the test, considering various factors, a customized skincare kit is prepared for you by dermatologists. It is extremely affordable and convenient and also time saving, plus free monthly follow up by doctors as well. You just need to pay for the kit and everything else, such as monthly consultation, diet plan, lifestyle change, water intake, recipe ideas. Another information is available on the app for free of course. I'm also incorporating healthy food items into my routine to make my skin feel healthy from within. So today I am going to show you some of the healthy foods that we can take especially while taking care of our skin. With regular usage, my skin feels more nourished, moisturized and also certain areas of my face have also improved. If you guys are also interested, I will leave down the link in the description and also pin it in the comment section. You can also use my code LOLO250 to get extra 250 rupees off. And it is applicable only for the first 50 customers, so hurry up now. I'm not a deep person, but I always make sure to at least drink 1 liter of water early in the morning. If you guys are my regular viewer, you already know that we have gotten rid of our big stay and this winter we are planning to grow more veggies in placement of that. In the meantime, we have grown some pumpkins and also some squash in the garden like we always do and we will be harvesting pumpkin today. This pumpkin plants usually grow like creeper, a vein clinging to the crown with support provided. They come in various shape and size and pumpkin has also the power to penetrate deep in the skin to provide many benefits. It's full of antioxidant, vitamin A and vitamin C and that both help to soften and soothe dry skin as well. This time our coyote also known as squash was withered because of this changing weather. We are growing some few in the garden and I wanted to collect some leaves as well as I'm a big fan of the greens. The best part about squash is that it is edible from its fruit, stem, leaf and also their roots. It has high nutrition value and is loaded with essential vitamins, minerals, fibers and antioxidant. Our fishery is loaded with greens right now but especially during dry season we usually grow mustard leaves and also other variety of crops here and this time I'm also planning to grow even more other greens so let's hope we will get it right and also I'm collecting some green chilies from the garden as well. I'm also collecting Thai basil which is a local herbs. This is really good for digestion and for skin it has antimicrobial properties. So this base of leaf would help prevent formation of acne as well.
This is Rosel, also known as hibiscus. We usually call it our family humphur because we use this leaf a lot, especially in all the dishes that we make. Each and every part of Rosel offers amazing benefits and the Rosel tea is highly popular in European countries for treating hangover, managing blood pressure, lowering cholesterol and protecting liver. The next ingredient that I'm collecting is this ginger leaves. It is also popularly used as traditional remedy for cold and flu. It also fights inflammation infections and also lower cholesterol levels. The last one I have is fish mint. It works wonder for boosting immune system and has antiviral and antibacterial properties that can be used for detoxifying a body system. You can also grow it in the kitchen garden or backyard and containers or pots as well. The next one is scarlet eggplant. This is just additional. I just wanted to show some of the clips because I am coming up with this pickle as well. This is also used for treating bronchitis and diabetes. They also contain anti-cancer properties and it is important for maintaining a balanced weight and preventing the risks of obesity. You can also give it a try and place your order at Lolo's Pickle. I will leave down the link in the description. Now we can start cooking. Here are some of the things that we collected today. I also collected some cherry tomatoes but couldn't take the clip. A day without pork is in vain as a naga. So I'll also be adding some smoked pork. I also have some additional veggies here. While too much of meat consumption can lead to health risks, but meat consumption can also be beneficial for maintaining muscle mass but also improve muscle function and physical performance. And also beside that, pork also contains variety of healthy nutrients that are beneficial for your muscles. So for that, I am adding pork as well. Now we are going to chop, chop, chop all the ingredients one by one and prepare the first dish. This is pork with pumpkin. I am also adding some green chilies that I collected earlier in our kitchen garden. And we will also be adding some cardiac red chili powder salt and also this russell leaves let us also chop this one and only pumpkin that we collected from the garden so for today i'm also gonna add this in the pork curry i will also be making some mixed curry and also a boil out of this pumpkin some people prefer without removing the cover but i am just removing it for the first one, I'm going to make it into small chunks so that I can add it in the smoked pork. Now for the second one, I am going to cut it into bigger chunks. This is for pumpkin stew with some taro and also I'll be boiling it with the bottle cord which is separately cooked. Now this is ginger leaf. I'm cutting it into small chunks and I'm gonna garnish it in both the curries. next item we will be cooking is bottle cord with pumpkin boil now this one is called bottle cord this is also very beneficial because it also treats urinary tract infection it also helps inflammation and also keep our heart healthy it also relieves stress and cools our body it is excellent post-workout drink and this juice is also believed to be good for diabetic patient
so for this dish i'm using this used oil that i was frying earlier because i didn't want it to waste the oil so it has some residue here i will be frying all the chopped ingredients at one go even though i'm not supposed to fry all at once this is for my own consumption so i'm just saving my time here i'm also adding a pinch of black pepper here then we have dry bamboo shoot you can also add fresh bamboo shoot if you have i wanted to try for the fresh bamboo shoot but it was not available there in the market so i couldn't get it and this one is taro i'm frying this first because it takes some time to cook after cooking it or for maybe 5 to 10 minutes i will be adding some masala again here it is haldi and now i'm adding the pumpkin right here now let's fry it all together i also added salt chili powder and also water my veg stew would be incomplete without green so i'm also adding some squash leaf and also pumpkin leaves then at the end i added some rosel leaves and also thai basil I've also bounded some of the taro and the pumpkins to make it a thick paste. And voila, here are the dishes. We have the pumpkin and the veg stew. We also have the bottle cord and pumpkin boil. We have the pumpkin and smoked pork. We have king chili and cucumber. We have the fish curry. And here are the dishes for today. So let's dig in. Firstly, I have boiled this bottle cord and this pumpkin. A gelato pumpkin special as a pumpkin, he wishy bakashi and laka lak style dish. And these are also fresh pumpkin leaves and squash pata from my garden. It's all of smash, mash condition moy and gravy that the banashi moy. All healthy organic cafe gelat food tea. And this is smoked pork with pumpkin. And this is yesterday's fish, the fish curry, is it? Del Master, is it? Really locally, is it? The Mola Didi La Garden Ba Olasi. And this is King Chili. Chal Nata Gili Kawana Bari Pato. So it's a Kawadi.
well here it is this was all the food items that we prepared today i had so much fun learning creating editing and also eating the food that we made today and if you find this video informative let me know in the comment section also here's a reminder while it is important to take care of your skin it is also important to eat healthy clean diet food so make sure you follow up with that thank you for watching